Okay, so here we are, months later. We are going to dive into this and package the uh, Michael Harwood package. And item number one is just gonna be whatever it is I grab off the top. So I may be employing waste bin rights on some of these items because uh, Michael Harwood was a bastard and he sent me several items uh, flavored of durian. And we all know how much I love durian. Those ought to be fun when they come up. And I will also be spreading these videos uh, apart a little bit because um, these take a lot of editing and stuff and uh, I sort of want to keep people regularly updated instead of shooting my load all at once. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do these reviews one product at a time. And uh, thank you so much again, Mark Michael Harwood, for uh, hooking me up with all this keen stuff. I'm sure it will be tasty. Okay, this looks kind of like an interesting sort of little dealy. Um, <laughs> I don't quite know what it's supposed to be, but uh, this is going to be the Cosmos T Yuck Balky. What you doing, Tilly? There's a dog right behind this uh, green screen. <laughs> Watch out. Little dude's happy. He's a happy little chilly guy. Um, whatever these are, these little rods of whatever starch, they look like they'd be pretty good. Um, drenched in some kind of sauce. Maybe they're made out of like a noodle or a potato. Yeah, that, 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 that seems like a good really spot. Nice and starchy. 249, so hot. Alright, so let's see what they're like. Yeah, they look like uh, little penne noodles that dried out. Lots of seasoning. I mean, maybe not lots of seasoning, but definitely a really rich color. <laughs> it's like that's a natural as fuck. Oh man. I was not expecting that. It's like a pastry. It's like really super sweet pastry. Tastes almost like Frosted Flakes. And at the end it's got a hint of like other spices and then a little bit of heat. But how weird! How weird that is! Oh, it's so sweet! It's so sweet! It's it's off-putting! Oh my goodness! Um, I was thinking, you know, hey, this looks like something I could really get down with with a beer, but oh gosh, it is so grossly sweet! It's like if you crunch these up and pour milk over them, kids would love them. <laughs> they wouldn't even need to add any more sugar on top. Well, they'd love them right up until the, the end, or the spice would kick them in the fucking throat because they are they're a little spicy for uh something so sweet oh god it's gross all right guys so it turns out that tiakbaki is actually a popular korean street food uh, that is mainly composed of soft rice fish cake and sweet red chili sauce uh, it has some other ingredients that are mixed in too uh, I saw a couple of recipes on YouTube that looked like it would have been uh, pretty nice. The way that I had it uh, was actually kind of revolting. Um, yeah, it, this dish can range anywhere from sweet to spicy, but it's like, wow, man. The, the guys who made these snacks decided to go heavy on the sweetness. And I was just kicked in the mouth by that sweetness. It was pretty unbearable uh, the spice at the end was okay but it's like at that point I really am not expecting spice <laughs> Tiak Baki snacks I don't know like on a scale of 1 to 10 I would give those like a 3 welcome to a world of empty promises and broken dreams <laughs> they are um, they're pretty gross the texture and everything on them was fine and the seasoning on them at the very end was like kind of good, but it's just oh gosh, I feel like I feel like I'm, I'm eating dessert. 
I feel like I got all of my dessert in that one little bite. <laughs> so sweet. Uh, it's still lingering in my mouth. All right, let's, let's have something to help that. Snap pea crisp. See how amateur this amateur production can get. See me owning this shit with socks? Ugh, it's laundry day. <laughs>